Hey nerds, what's up? It feels like it's been forever since we've done a board game overview and look at all of the expansions that come with it. So today's board game we're going to be talking about, of course, is Tapestry. Now, I've talked about Tapestry a few times, actually, in several different videos, but I thought I would combine them all together to make just one fully focused video on Tapestry and its expansions. So the way that these expansion videos have been laid out, it's the best way that I've seen it go so far, just in case anyone's new and has never heard about this board game before. We'll start with an overview, and then we'll dive into each expansion, discussing what each expansion adds to the overall gameplay of Tapestry. So without further ado, let's get started. Tapestry is a civilization building game where you have to utilize your resources well in order to advance your capital city into prosperity. There are a lot of components to this game, but it is a slow and steady type of game that's very fun to play. Every player can go at their own pace. Each player has a type of civilization given to them. There are over 16 different types of civilizations, each with their own unique abilities to aid you in the game. You also get one capital city card, each with a unique terrain, 9x9 square grid that has certain spaces already filled. You also have your main player mat that has four types of income slots on top. You start with an income turn, following the steps shown on your mat. They even have numbers to tell you when each will apply what round. You will play a tapestry card, each one unique that will grant you different bonuses either when played or during your next era. You will also gain a land tile and another tapestry card to hold on to, along with resources and victory points. You gain victory points indicated by each open income slot on your mat. As you progress each round, more slots will be open giving you more resources and victory points. After you have finished your income turn and the other players have taken their turns, you now do advancement turns. There are four advancement tracks to choose from, science, military, technology, and exploration. The science track helps you advance along other advancement tracks. Military helps you conquer the tiles in the central map, giving you extra bonuses and taking over territories that other players already control. The technology track helps you collect technology cards as you advance that you can advance in your income turn that can give you specific buildings or specific bonuses to fuel your civilization. The exploration track helps you collect exploration tiles that you can place on the central map, giving you extra bonuses as you explore, eventually leading you to advance all the way to exploring space, which gives you extra bonuses as well. Each time you would advance, it will cost you a resource, whether it be a random one of your choice or a specific one indicated at the top of the advancement track. Once you have used all of your resources, you then take an income turn, gathering victory points, resources, and any other bonuses that come with your civilization and capital city. Speaking of your capital city, you will slowly be gathering income houses as you advance your city. You can place them anywhere on your capital city mat, any 3x3 three three square you fill, like in Sudoku, you can gain a resource. There are also bonuses for each completed row or column that you fill up. There are also landmarks. If you are the first player to advance to the next tier on the advancement track, you get a specific landmark on your capital city. These help take up spaces to help you gain more points. There are so many ways to go about playing this game, and it's how well you use your resources and advance your city. Whoever has the most victory points at the end wins. The first expansion that came with Tapestry was Plans and Ploys. This expansion brought 10 new civilization mats, 15 new tapestry cards. Some of these cards being new types of response cards for those trying to, to conquer your land and five landmark cards, bonus landmarks that you can gain if you fulfill the requirements stated on each card. The second larger expansion that came for Tapestry was Arts and Architecture. The most notable feature that was brought with this expansion is a brand new advancement track, the Arts Track. Along with the Arts Track, the expansion brings a new 20-sided science die that adds the Arts Track. With the Arts Track, it introduces two new elements to the game, one being Masterpiece Cards. These cards act a lot like your technology cards, cards that you can choose from and collect as you advance on the Arts Track. 
The second component being the inspiration tiles. The inspiration tiles cover your original income tracks on your mat. The inspiration tiles add new bonuses and victory points that you can add the more income buildings you place on your civilization mat. Speaking of your civilization mat, the arts expansion brings six new advanced civilization mats, each with their own rules and restrictions that you must follow in order to place your income buildings. The expansion also brings 20 new tapestry cards, five new civilization mats, and eight new landmarks, some that you will gain through the arts track, while the rest are gained through the five new landmark cards that come along with it. Along with this, the arts expansion brings 11 new technology cards with a brand new prerequisite that you must have a landmark placed on the technology card. The final expansion for Tapestry comes with Fantasies and Futures. This expansion brings 10 new civilization mats, which give us heavy fantasy or sci-fi themes. Along with the civilization mats, it brings six more advanced capital city mats. These also have specific rules to them and continue to follow the fantastical themes of this expansion. With this expansion, it also brought 38 new tapestry cards, the most tapestry cards out of any other expansion. With these tapestry cards, there's a new element brought to the game called charms. On the left or right side of the tapestry cards, you'll see a small rectangle indicating that you will receive a bonus if you place that tapestry card on your main game mat. Along with these tapestry cards, there are 12 new technology cards with a brand new prerequisite as well that you either have to play a charmed tapestry card or wait until your final income turn to play. Along with these new features, the expansion also brought replacement cards for your other expansions and base game, as well as an all comprehensive rule book covering the base game, all three expansions, and adding the civilization adjustments on the back. With all of these expansions, I really think that Stonemeyer has done everything that they can to round out this wonderful game, Tapestry. I absolutely love having all of these elements incorporated into the game and there are so many ways that you can obtain extra victory points. And I think Fantasies and Futures, the newest expansion, really just adds more fun and fantastical feeling to the overall game if you're wanting to go that route. It adds creative ways to do your gameplay as well as you can see a lot of recognizable features I think the developers are fans of. So overall, I think that all of these expansions really add to the gameplay of Tapestry, and I'm so grateful and happy that we've been able to collect them all. So overall, I really do think that each expansion has just added to the gameplay of Tapestry, and I love owning all of this game. So I would love to know what other board games you guys think are really enhanced by their expansions, and comment down below. If you had watched last week's video, I did an updated board game collection tour, and so if you saw any games that I own and want me to talk about them, also comment that down below. Anyway, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.